Have you ever wondered how bearings are manufactured? These little marvels are a vital component in a vast array of mechanical devices. They play a key role in reducing friction and ensuring smooth, efficient movement. From the simple ball bearing to the more complex roller bearing, each type has its unique purpose and design. Now brace yourself for an intriguing journey as we delve into the fascinating process of how these bearings are made. The manufacturing process of bearings begins with the production of bearing rings. This initial phase is all about precision and quality. It all starts with high-quality steel, a material known for its durability and strength. This steel is heated to a specific temperature, a process that makes it malleable and ready for shaping. Once at the right temperature the steel is then cut into rings. These rings which will eventually become the foundation of our bearings, are made with meticulous precision to ensure a perfect fit every time. But the process doesn't stop there. These rings then undergo a special heat treatment. This hardening process further enhances the steel's durability, ensuring that the resulting bearing rings can withstand the intense stress and friction that bearings are often subjected to. With the bearing rings ready, we can move on to the next phase of the manufacturing process. Now that we have our bearing rings, it's time to create the rolling elements. These little guys are responsible for reducing rotational friction and supporting radial and axial loads. So, let's dive into their creation process. We start with steel wires. These wires are cut into short lengths, each destined to become a rolling element. This process is both precise and meticulous, ensuring each piece is just the right size. Next, these small pieces undergo a grinding process, transforming them into perfect spheres. This is a critical step as the shape and surface smoothness of these spheres greatly affect the bearing's performance. But we're not done yet. These spheres are then subjected to heat treatment. This hardening process enhances their durability and resistance to wear and tear, preparing them for the tough job ahead. With our rolling elements and bearing rings ready, we are now set to assemble the bearing. Stay tuned to see how that's done. The final stage of the bearing manufacturing process is assembly. Here the bearing rings and rolling elements come together in harmony, thanks to a cage. This cage plays a crucial role in ensuring that the rolling elements are evenly spaced around the ring, maintaining a delicate balance that's vital for optimal performance. This assembly process, while intricate, is essential for creating the robust and efficient bearings we rely on. And there you have it, a finished bearing, ready to be fitted into a machine and do its job of reducing friction and ensuring smooth operation. So, now you know how bearings are manufactured, but here's a question for you. Ever pondered what would be the most suitable material for a bearing in an extremely high temperature environment? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and remember to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, this is Lavanya G, signing off.